Hi, I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, a custom furniture shop in St. Petersburg, Florida. And I'm going to show you how to use a pattern cutting router bit. Uh, first off, we'll start with the bit. I already have one here in my router. And as you can see, there's a bearing that guides the bit and the cutter. The bearing and the cutter are the same size. So what the bearing feels, the cutter cuts. So you're working with a jig or a template that is the exact shape and size of your final piece. Another option uh, is basically it's the opposite, it's a flush trim bit. The difference being rather than the bearing being on the shaft end, it's on the tip end. And the difference between the two essentially is which side of your work your pattern goes on. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our pattern or template. And I've got a template here simple curve that I use on a lot of the aprons of my furniture. And I'm going to take it to my stock and line it up so that my ends and bottom are square to the stock. And I'm going to draw a line on my material. Then I took it over to my bandsaw and I cut just outside the line. And you can see um, I try to keep it um, close to the line uh, and trying not to leave more, much more than a sixteenth of an inch or so of waste. If you leave too much waste, it's extra work with the router and uh, it can lead to some burning if you're not working and, and paying attention to your speeds and such. The next thing we want to do is clamp our stock to our template and our bench, making sure that everything is lined up. A lot of times I won't even clamp my material to the template, I'll use double stick tape. A couple of pieces of double stick tape, making sure it's good and secure, will hold your template and your stock together. And then you just need to clamp down to your bench. One thing you want to make sure is that your cut line is clear of your bench so you don't cut the bench itself. What I'm going to do for the demonstration purposes is just do a portion of it so you can see where my cut line is from the bandsaw uh, and how rough that is in comparison to how smooth and clean the line is from my template guide. Next thing we want to do is to set our bit height. What we want to make sure is that our bearing on our bit is riding right against the template that we've made. And then go ahead and lock down my depth Go ahead and put on our safety gear and make our cut. Now we've got a nice smooth surface parallel with our guide and you'll see a couple of things. It's a much smoother curve. It's right to our line and we could have easily done this whole thing uh, in one pass, cleaned everything up. The other thing you might be able to see is that I've got a one inch board but a three quarter inch cutter so I still have a little bit of stock here at the bottom. That's not a problem. To clean that up, we can go ahead and pop it back on our table. And we're going to make the exact same cut. This time, instead of using our template, we're going to use the upper portion of our stock. Now you can see that we have a nice smooth surface all the way across. You can see here where I've left a little bit for comparison. Uh, if you can get longer bits if you're doing stock of uh, greater thicknesses than this or you can just do it in two passes like I've done today. So that's a little bit of information on how to use a pattern cutting router bit. I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, the fine art of furniture making.